And welcome to In-Depth. Tonight we take a backroads trip to heaven. We are talking about a reporter, a storyteller, a leader, but he was more than the sum of these parts. He was a newsman and a great father. Hal Wolford left us today, passing away. He was 89 years old. And joining me tonight are two people who worked with Hal, my colleagues Shelley Kirk and Wayne Hart. My was it a different time back then. Uh, you know, we talk about characters in this profession that we love, and, and one of them was Hal Wolford. Describe him your take, Shelley. Oh, this my man. goodness. Well, he was, you know, I want to say he's larger than life, but he wasn't really, because when you first met him, he's very unassuming, very yes. humble, but he was so funny. Mm -hmm. His sharp as a whip, very smart, and mm -hmm. um, knew everyone from, you know, the, the mayor, the governor, who he could talk to anybody, but he was the type of person who knew that uh, the janitor, probably was more interesting and had better stories than the CEO. And he was usually absolutely right. He was absolutely right. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Wayne, you, you've seen so many uh, bergs and small towns right. on those weather maps over the years, but you learned a thing or two about the makeup of our tri-state area because of how old. That's right. I mean, many of these small communities, if it weren't for how, you wouldn't hear about them unless there was severe weather because mm -hmm. you were tracking a storm to, say, Richland City or Rapid Ridge. That's the only time these towns would ever get mentioned if it weren't for how. And how would go into these small communities, which in many cases were very historic, and told the, the stories of the people that lived there. And I got here in 93 and, and got to work with him for, what, a good six, seven years. And it was always interesting uh, to find out what was Hal working on today. And oh, you knew absolutely. when he came back in the newsroom, he was going to have a great story of some kind. And he was anxious to, to watch it. And I guess we had 5 o'clock news where we normally ran his pieces. Yeah, there's that unmistakable yeah. smile right yeah. there. And you know, you talk about him going out. And you remember, these were reports that aired every mm -hmm. day. That gives yeah. you oh, hundreds yeah. upon right. hundreds upon hundreds of stories that this man covered. But he's almost like a kid going out to play and hunt, and then he comes back and it's almost as though he's saying, hey, guess what I found today? <laughs> and I want to share right now, I, uh, you probably remember this one specific, this isn't the whole report, but Hal found a few folks in Western <laughs> Kentucky and a nest of bumblebees. Watch very quick. Calhoun, Kentucky's annual bumblebee fight started years ago when Uncle Bum Cobb had 15 children. The family was so poor they couldn't afford toys, so Uncle Bum took them out to a field and let them fight bumblebees. <laughs> These are real people, right? But he found them and he had that human touch where he could. I often ask him, where did you get some of this stuff? Mm -hmm. I mean, well, you know, I, I had the distinct honor and, and luck of sitting next to him in the newsroom, the old newsroom. Oh, yeah. And um, I would hear him on the phone talking to people. And he just had a way, you know, he just connected with people. He knew yes. how to connect mm -hmm. to people. He knew the right people to ask the questions of and who, who would have the best story. He just knew how to get that. And um, he just brought it out in them. He, he could just. Talk well, he could relate to anyone. He could. I mean, he, could he was genuine. Anybody. But and, I, and I also have to tell you, you know, yes. you, you just said that he, he like going out and playing. My mm -hmm. husband yes. was a photographer mm -hmm. here, and his he doesn't work here anymore. And he remember his favorite memories of going out with Hal Wolford because it was so much fun. It was like mm -hmm. going out and playing. Okay, and you know we cannot forget though that Hal was a bona fide before he started doing backroads in the late '80s, a bona fide newsman yes, and was. journalist. He, he started his career at WTVW back yeah. in the late 50s. He worked here at WEHT here on Marywood Drive for most of his uh, career. But during that time, he covered major stories. He was a leader. He was a news director at Times. He was an anchor at Times mm -hmm. uh, and covered uh, all types of stories. And it always amazed me that, you know, if we were live at an event, he would just walk up to me sometimes and he would point something out that was staring me right in the face. <laughs> right. But uh, so many times, stuff that we might miss in the heat of it all, right. how, would, how would pick it up? That's how sharp he was. He would, and, and he would always um, encourage. He would. 
be a great person to give you pointers on who to, who to contact for a story you're working on, because he knew everyone, mm -hmm. and he would help you, guide you. He, he was very magnanimous in that mm -hmm. way. He didn't hold anything back. He was, uh, and, and I heard Randall Parmley today say <laughs> that when Hal Wolford complimented mm -hmm. you on a story, you know you did something right. Right. And, and he was, uh, he was, as you said, he was very unassuming, a fantastic people person. But he was also a great father, uh, uh, and his uh, beloved wife, uh, Dolores uh, Dodo, as many people uh, know her, and she is still with us. Our, our prayers and thoughts are with her. And, and how, obviously, uh, uh, he had a passion. He loved what he was doing. Oh, yeah. and, I, I, well, and he, he, would, he would say, I'm getting paid to do this. Yeah, and yeah. It's something that he just absolutely adored. And he was a musician, too. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a good point. And even after he retired, he would email me every few months yeah. with his mm -hmm. take on, on local media and what we're doing. He was so engaged. It was so much a part of his life that... His letter to the editors, that's too, right. the oh, career. Yes. Yeah. He would keep in touch. And, mm -hmm. you know, he, he was in a generation where, and this happened to me shortly after he retired, the knock on the door like on a Saturday morning, and it was Hal. And he grew up in a time when you didn't call or text somebody, hey, is anybody home? I think I might come over. Is it okay? You just uh, knock on the door, and the old line is, got company. Mm -hmm. And and that was Hal. He just, he loved people, and he loved reporting mm -hmm. on people. He did. never did want to show anybody up. These folks here that we just saw down in western Kentucky with those bumblebees, I bet that absolutely went over with yeah. them in such a wonderful way. Well, he Just jumped seeing, right in there with them. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. He was one of those. Yeah. And, he, and we were so lucky uh, to be associated with him and work with him. And our thoughts again and our prayers are with the family. Thanks for talking about Hal. Mm. And um, he, Hal, we really love you. Yeah. We'll be right back. You're watching Eyewitness News at 9.